we're here by popular demand a lot of you have been sending me this app it's not actually an app like i was trying to find it on my phone and it's not there it's just the website anyway it's a website where you're shown a picture and you're supposed to guess with utmost accuracy when it was taken let's do this <laughs> okay this looks 1970s probably late 70s early 80s judging by her massive sunglasses but then she's wearing like pretty 70s hair i think it's very telling that i went straight to guessing by outfits and not by cars but i literally know nothing about cars as you will soon see <laughs> okay let's say it's like 78 no is it early 80s damn it i think it's early 80s i'm gonna put like 81 Ooh, okay, close enough. Okay, he's wearing tight, high-waisted jeans. She's wearing like a 1970s blowout hair. Her hair is very telling, like, I don't care about the car. I mean, it's beautiful, but I don't know anything about it. But her hair, together with bell bottoms, that's definitely 70s, 70s, that's very ABBA. So it's gotta be like 70... I'm completely guessing here, 74. Okay, all right, that's not too bad. Wow, that's some majestic hair. So that's gotta be 1960s, oh, okay. President curled, and it's daily news, so it's new, so it's gotta be 64, was it four? Was it three? Fuck. I can't believe I got that wrong. All right, we've got Germany. Germany, I'm assuming post-war, oh, hello. Uh, and in color, so probably 1950s. There isn't much of people's outfits that we can see. If you're spending at least some time on the internet and you're watching this video, so I'm assuming you are, you probably know there's a lot of weirdos around and generally people that wish you and your devices the worst. In case you don't know what cybersecurity threats are out there, there are, for example, phishing links that look like regular websites but are actually fake websites. And, and if you give them your login and your password, you are in for a bad time. <laughs> Sometimes all it takes is like clicking the wrong ad and that's enough for the hackers to get your information and mess with you. So it doesn't take much for your devices to be compromised just by a simple mistake. That's why it's good to browse the web with some sort of protection. And NordVPN, who is sponsoring today's video, is offering just that. NordVPN can detect all those traps and protect you from them. Not only that, NordVPN will also help you access stuff that you're trying to access but you can't because of your location. And if you get it today following the link uh, nordvpn.com carolina you will get one month for three. And also they're having a birthday sale right now so you can also get up to 63% off so go get it right now. It's, it's their birthday not my birthday. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee in case you're not entirely convinced yet. So follow the link nordvpn.com slash carolina to get yours now and uh, back to the video now. And it's also winter so they're all like covered up completely but there is however this child that I think is 50s and it's probably early 50s. <sighs> okay okay We've got this. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. Um, that's 80s. And also, I just watched Spinal Tap recently, and the guy was, it looked, he looked literally like that. So it's gotta be, what, what, what year was that? Spinal Tap was 1981 or 82? I'm gonna guess 82 because maybe they were a little behind. Okay, never mind. It's actually later in the decade. <laughs> okay. I want to do this again. I'm still hoping for some like older photos with a lot of like women fashion in it. That would be great. All right, that's probably an airport. Um, DHL already existed. Okay. Um, I see no big hair. She looks very 90s. That's got to be 90s or early 2000s because they don't look too 90s. I'm gonna say it's like 2003, but it's it's kind of a guess. Oh, 2007? Why do they all look so vintage? I don't remember 2007 looking like that. Wait, is this guy on his phone? No, that's probably a Blackberry. Oh no, 
I completely missed that. Okay, I have to be more careful. I hate men in uniform. No offense. I can never get them right. I'm assuming it's 70. No, it's probably later. 72. Oh my god. What? I mean, I kind of... No, I didn't know that actually. What? Then why is he wearing those old ass frames? See, if I knew anything about uniform, I could probably guess where that was taken. Yay, finally, some people in clothes. <laughs> okay, that's gotta be 1910s, very early 1910s at that. Probably 1912. Could be a little earlier, but because it seems like a rural location, they might be a little behind, so I'm gonna say 1912. Okay. They were a little more behind than I thought. <laughs> okay, um, are you okay, my guy? He's definitely out. I would say they're giving off Beatles vibes, but also he looks exactly like my dad in his photos. So it's gotta be later than 60s. It's probably... It also depends on the country. What is that? Okay, maybe it is like behind the Iron Curtain then, because it looks like some sort of leader. And if there is a leader on the wall, then that would mean this could be 1980. Oh my god, I was really off. Sort of last minute, I felt this guy looks like this documentary I watched from 1968, but it was too late to back out. <laughs> Also, I could have guessed by their like narrow pants, um, but also it does really show you how behind Poland was because that's literally what my dad looked like in the 80s, like this one. Okay, um, some pretty old looking cars in the background. This guy's hairstyle is quite... Okay, is it 1960s or is it 19... No, it couldn't be 1950s because the hair is... His pants... No, it's gotta be 1960s. I'm gonna stick with like... Oh, am I way off? Is this like 1970s? Uh, I don't know anymore. It's so hard when you don't know. Like, it's so easy to just like, in hindsight, be like, yeah, of course his hair looked kind of 60s, but when you don't know it, but because the poli policeman kind of reminds me of Louis de Finet films, I'm gonna be like 60s. Okay, again, way off. Um, why is his hair cut, cut so lame then? I thought men in the 50s had their hair like really... Polished. I think that was my worst round so far. Oh my god, 20 points. Oh, that was horrible. Let's let's do this again <laughs> Okay, um, I know nothing about Asian Fashion, which is a bit embarrassing But then if you were supposed to like guess something based on looking at just Polish folk fashion I guarantee you you probably would not know. There's this guy here who's wearing like what looks like a suit and it's also not too high colored, I don't think, based on the two pixels that I was provided with. So I'm gonna say 1930s. <gasps> Never mind. <laughs> okay, this is 1920s and okay, she's wearing a suit that is kind of tight fitted so it cannot be early in the 20s, it's gotta be later in the 20s. Then she's wearing like shorts. So it actually could be early 30s. I'm gonna say 1930. Wait, can I have a closer look at their outfits? Yeah, let's keep it at 1930. Mm, not too bad, not too bad. That looks a bit unsettling. <laughs> um, he does not look happy to be sitting with all these colonizers, but... Okay, a lot of mustache, a lot of facial hair, high collar. It's gotta be pretty early on. I'm gonna risk guessing 1905. Okay, so it was not the Russian-Japanese war then. Oh my God, is that Victoria Beckham? And she's smiling, so it's gotta be before 2000s. <laughs> that looks 90s as hell. When were Spice Girls at the top of their popularity. When did Spice World come out? That was that was 1996. Okay, wait, because I remember computers like that and I, if I remember I must have been at least four years old. Is it like 1998? <gasps> yeah, baby. Okay, so it was the, the Spice World tour. <laughs> okay, yay for women in clothing that I can actually recognize. This has got to be early 1900s. Quite narrow sleeves, interestingly. This is like a younger woman, so her look is not super fashionable, but 
Let's focus on this lady. It looks... It kind of looks late 1890s, so I'm gonna guess it's really early on. Probably like 1904. <gasps> I knew it! I knew it's early on. Okay, I messed up the first one and the rest is okay. Let's let's go on. I, I need to beat my own high score. Like, I need to get over 4,000. Messina. Um, that's that's gotta be somewhere in Europe, right? So probably World War II, um, and I'm guessing Army Pictorial Service. Okay, so it's gotta be during World War II, so probably 1990, 1944. Okay, um, <laughs> yay, women at work. Short skirts, I mean shorts considerably. Set hair. She looks 1930s, 1940s. She looks 1930s, 1940s, but also she's wearing thick framed eyewear. So this could mean it's actually post war. Or am I hallucinating? Are these actually. No, they're definitely like thicker glass frames, right? Let's have a look at the guy. No, that's also. That must be post war. I'm gonna say, depending on the country, because we don't know the context here, so it could be anywhere between 47 and 53. Because I'm assuming it's not Eastern Europe, I'm gonna guess it's like maybe England, judging by this lady here, I don't know, she looks English. Let's say it's 1948. Oh my bad. Okay, it was still during the war. Okay. Why why the frames then? <laughs> maybe they're maybe they're actually wire frames that I cannot see properly. Okay. That looks like a silent movie. Judging purely wait, are there Okay, she looks like she's wearing folk cost costumes, so it's difficult to date. But judging purely by the movie poster, it's gotta be late 20s, but I'm assuming before the talkies. So 1920. Seven. <gasps> Bam, baby! <laughs> Got him! Oh, wow. Um, I mean, this is 2000s for sure. Unless it's 2010s, maybe 2010s. Blizzard. Wait, that's a phone. Is that a Blackberry or is that like an early iPhone? Because it's not a flip phone, is it? That's not the way he would be holding it. N not nearly enough phones inside, I think. Oh, wait, there is a couple. There is a phone here. There's a phone here and probably here, but that's still not enough phones for me to think it's post 2010. So I'm gonna say this one's 2010. <gasps> that was pure luck. I literally have no idea. <laughs> okay, these little guys look 1960s. He's got a little wave in his hair and all that. And their hair is also quite short, but they're not dressed like little grown-up men. So, I mean, apart from this guy here. Is it 1970s? Am I completely missing the point here? Is this like 1950s? I don't think it is. Well, his hair does look 1950s a lot because of the little wave, but none of the other guy's hair. Wait, actually this looks... You know what? Let's make it 1960 instead. And I am so off. I know I am so off. <laughs> I literally have no idea. <gasps> okay, thank god I didn't go for the 70. Yay, I beat my own record! Actually, I, I played this game on my phone once because I wanted to see what it's all about before I recorded this video and I got 4,400. So let's try and beat that. Round one. Cars looking pretty modern in terms of not looking like pre-war. <laughs> uh, no, but what I mean is like they look post 80s to me. People's hair also looks post 80s. There is a lot of caps going around. She's wearing quite vibrantly colored hair, which makes me think it's post 2000s maybe even. He's wearing his hat backwards, but no, because they don't have any phones. Wait, is that a phone? That's a phone. He is literally the only person with a phone. No, there's another one. It could also be a, a handheld camera, but that's definitely a phone, right? The way he's holding it. I'm assuming because there's no, no word, like no phones that is early 2000s. I think if he had a phone, a lot of other people had a phone. And if he doesn't have a phone, it's gotta be before the phone. So let's stick to 2000s. <gasps> Where are their phones? Are you kidding me? There's like one phone in here. 
Are you telling me all those people are just enjoying the races and like not looking at the... No, because in 2016, everyone would be recording that. What is this? This is so confusing. Um, I'm definitely not beating my record in this round. <laughs> oh, nice. 1920s ladies. Wow, they're like really cool. <laughs> Oh, it's gotta be early 20s though, because she's wearing a wide brim hat. These shoes also look like late Edwardian, and they've got their stockings rolled. So let's say 1922. Thank you. Uh, too bad I messed up the first round, so I'm still not getting enough points in this one. Wow, um, she is also looking quite cool. <laughs> based on the hairstyle itself. I actually don't know. Because at first I thought, oh, 1930s, but these guys don't look 1930s at all, do they? It must be pre-war. It's just the way this guy is looking that's putting me off. Like, okay, I'm gonna say it's 1930s, but it's purely because of her. <sighs> okay, I thought I'm going insane. Oh, not much detail in this one. Wow, this one could be anywhere, like in my eyes, <laughs> could be anywhere between like 1930s and 1960s. But because his pants are kind of low, I'm gonna guess it's later than earlier. Like, let's say 58. Ah, oh my God, I was really off with this one. <laughs> wow, oh. Okay, uh, a lot of men wearing really high socks and baseball caps, so it's gotta be 1980s. Let's see what women are wearing. Again, not many women in here. Oh, these ladies look 80s as hell. Um, but because they're not wearing their hair super done up... No, actually, I have no idea. I'm just making stuff up at this point. I'm gonna say it's like 83. Oh my god, these ladies look totally 80s, no offense. Is this guy 90s? Is that what guys in 90s look like? That's not how I remember it. Okay, this lady kind of does look 90s now that I'm thinking about it. I didn't notice her before. Well, this round was a mistake. Um, I brought my score down to 2000. So, okay, one more time. If I don't beat my phone record, I'm just giving up. God damn it. Okay, old looking cars, firemen not being too helpful in, te in terms of appearance. See, the thing is like American trucks, I don't know if this is probably not America, but American trucks are so old school looking. Like when I was in New York, a lot of them look basically vintage. Like you guys did not update your truck design since 1950s. So this could be anywhere. Honestly, I have no idea. Let's try. I don't know. I literally don't know. Uh, it could be either like... <laughs> I have no idea. Is it recent? Is it like recent fires? I don't even know what I'm seeing. I have no... <gasps> oh my god, okay. <laughs> that was pure luck. I have no idea. Wow, okay. This guy's facial hair alone, together with the hairstyle, is 1970s. And he's got a patterned shirt, high-waisted pants, they look 1970s as well, but it's gotta be like early 70s. Okay, I wanted to change it to 1973, because I thought maybe they're a little behind with fashion, but I didn't do it and now I regret. <laughs> okay, oh, that's heartbreaking. That's gotta be like Syria. So I'm assuming it's probably 2012. Yeah, that really brought the mood down. Republique Francaise, that's First World War. Uh, and because they're celebrating, it's probably 1918 or 1917. Is it 1917? I mean, I know the war ended in 1918, but I'm just wondering if they could be celebrating something before the end of the war. Damn it, I thought so. Next up, that's in Ireland, is it? Oh, he's wearing a face mask. That's kind of a giveaway, isn't it? He's on his phone, he's wearing a face mask. He's wearing a face mask as well. And these guys, so it's gotta be 2021. Bam, I mean, it wasn't too difficult. Oh, I just beat my record, hell yeah. Even with a, yeah, that was pure luck though, but I just beat my record, which means it's time for me to conclude 
this game because it's been a while. I've been playing for like an hour at this point. So yeah, that's it. <laughs>